Motorcycle exhaust systems are hot. I mean, really, really hot. If you've ever accidentally brushed your leg up against the exhaust pipe, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you some actual exhaust temperatures from the header all the way out to the muffler. I'll also be talking about some of the factors that affect your exhaust temperature. And finally, I'll talk about why your exhaust pipe changes color after you ride. For the temperatures in this video, I'm gonna be using one of these handheld infrared thermometers. I'll leave a link in the description in case you wanna buy one to play around with. They're a lot of fun. Let's get this bike warmed up. The engine's now properly warmed up with a temperature of over 170 degrees. The header pipes are one of the hottest parts of the exhaust system. You can see here at idle, my motorcycle approaches 800 degrees Fahrenheit, but realistically, these temperatures while riding can easily cross 1000 degrees Fahrenheit and approach 1600 degrees Fahrenheit. At idle, my midpipe temperature is between 3 and 400 degrees Fahrenheit. However, while riding, the midpipes can get very hot with a temperature ranging anywhere from 850 to 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. At the catalytic converter, my temperature is around 400 degrees Fahrenheit, but temperatures can shoot up at the catalytic converter due to the chemical reactions. So a range you can see is somewhere between 600 and 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. By the time exhaust gases reach the muffler, they've had time to cool down. So at my muffler, the exhaust temperature is around 300 degrees, but realistically you can see temperatures between 4 and 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that we've seen some numbers, let's talk about some of the factors that influence your exhaust temperature. The first and most self-explanatory is your engine speed. If you're revving your motorcycle at a slower speed, obviously your temperature is going to be a lot cooler than if you're revving your motorcycle at a higher speed. This is because the engine heats up more with more revolutions and that heat transfers to your exhaust system. Next is the ambient temperature. If you're riding on a cold day, your motorcycle engine will be able to cool a lot better than if it's a very hot day. So for this Ducati, for example, if it's very hot, it gets really uncomfortably hot to ride, especially the temperature coming from the engine here. The next consideration is your air-fuel ratio. So if you have a motorcycle that's running too lean, meaning too much air, not enough fuel, you're gonna get exhaust temperatures that are higher than if your motorcycle has a proper air fuel ratio. Your exhaust type and exhaust length can also influence your exhaust temperature. So if you're running a shorter system with shorter pipes, there's less area for the heat to dissipate, so you're gonna be running hotter than if you had longer pipes. The diameter of the pipe also makes a difference. Generally, the wider the pipe, the more area there is for heat to dissipate and the lower the operating temperature will be. Have you ever noticed your pipes start to change color after you've been riding for a while? Well, for the yellowing effect to start, you need temperatures around 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. As the exhaust gets hotter and hotter, the color will become more gold. Pipes can also start to turn blue when exposed to temperatures of around 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. That's why it's more common to see this bluing effect closer to the header pipes. I'm sure you've seen some videos of red hot glowing exhaust pipes. You'll need a temperature of around 900 degrees Fahrenheit to get to that point. 